What is going on Outlaws? It's Kurt Stevens here with Outlaw Bits Gaming and today we're going to be taking a look at my uh, Wii U kiosk behind me that I picked up in Hope, Indiana. So without any further ado guys, let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so here it is. I uh, picked up this Wii U kiosk in Hope, Indiana. We found it on the Facebook Marketplace and I got a really good deal on it. Only paid a hundred bucks. So you know I had to swoop down there. Um, here's a little uh, back shot of it. There's the fan port there. My little cat running around. First thing I had to do was to uh, get inside the thing to see what we were working with, so I had to drill out this lock here. Took some time, but we uh, eventually busted on in. We got in there, guys. As you can see here, there's a lot of uh, power blocks that run certain things within the cabinet here. We got the subwoofer there at the bottom. Taking a little closer look, we've got this hub here that um, handles all of the power for the LED lights and different things like that. We've got the Wii U power blocks as well as the uh, sensor block there. Moving on down here, we've got some storage space and another power block for the LEDs, I believe, and the subwoofer here. This thing cranks out some power, guys. After that, I had to uh, dig into the back here because the fan wasn't plugged in. So uh, we had to take these screws out to expose the power block, as you can see here. We had to plug that sucker back up. Everything worked out good. After that, I gave her a quick cleaning, and uh, we were ready to plug her up. And there you have it, guys. There it is, all lit up and ready to go. We've got some Donkey Kong Country playing there on it. Those blue LED lights are so crisp. We've got the uh, nunchuck holders there, very nice. We've got the blue side panel LEDs you could briefly see there. And uh, yeah, this Wii U backplate, very solid stuff. Super happy to find this. Moving on down the uh, sides of it here, we have the Super Mario Maker as well as the uh, Pokemon tournament and the Splatoon displays. We've got these beautiful blue LEDs on the side. On the top we have the Paper Mario Color Splash decal. I thought that was super cool. As well as this lit up Wii U light. Very nice. Here we have the uh, lovely Laura's Wii U and the hand controller here all set up and ready to go, lit up with the LEDs. And we've got Donkey Kong rolling, as I said, on the television. We've got some footage of my buddy Brad giving her a try and uh, seeing how she worked. And it worked flawless, guys. Couldn't be happier to add this to the collection, and I was super happy to pick this up. Well, there you have it, Outlaws. This has been my brief uh, tour and inspection of my Wii U kiosk here. Now you don't see these things every day, so I was super excited to uh, be able to show you guys a little bit of the ins and outs of it. Now if you like what you saw here today, be sure to click the links below to like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell to stay up to date with all of Outlaw Bits videos as soon as they're posted. I can't thank you guys enough for watching, and this has been Curtis Stevens with Outlaw Bits Gaming, signing off.